All right, on the filthy rag, we have a box from eBay. Sometimes you take a chance. You see something, you're like, that's too good to be true. And you try it out. So that was one of those moments. This is from the Hunter's Mall. They've got a little eBay store. And they had some red dot sites for 30 bucks. They said they were shockproof, suitable for mounting on a shotgun or a rifle. So I figured it would work on the pistol. A1 optic, it says. Probably from Shanghai, you know, like everything else. And I uh, just thought I'd open it up and take a look at what you do. You get a clamshell package. You get a lens cleaning cloth. You get some instructions in English. You get a limited lifetime warranty. Very nice. This is for the Picatinny rail. Okay. Nitrogen filled, it says on the bottom. And there it is, the ARD. 32B. And it should be suitable for mounting on a on my uh, little gun here. Let's take a look. See if it's got a battery on in it. Let's see, let's see if it has one on now. Wow. Okay, yep, yeah, there's a little red dot in there. Let's see if you can see it. <laughs> oh yeah. It's very odd how it floats around, huh? Let's see. There's a, there's all these little settings up here. Yeah, it's gone away. Now it's green. So we've got different intensities of green and different intensities of red. All right. Well, let's see. Is it gonna, gonna zoom in on it? There it is. It's not a bad looking little piece, is it? For thirty bucks, if it can. Hold up to the shock of a 22. That's all I need. It's got a supposedly a 32 millimeter view. Let's see how that works out. All right. Well, let me show you what I'm up against here and why this doesn't fit right out of the box. No fault of the site manufacturer. But first of all, gun's empty, clear, no magazine. Okay. There's not enough space. Here's the little rails that are provided that attach this to the gun. And as you can see, the rails are just a scooch too long. See? So by the time I catch one slot, wherever I catch it, you can see that slot won't work out because that, but I could slip this around. But even if I catch this slot, which is fine, okay, and I move back to catch this slot, I'm pinching the gun up here, and it's actually not grabbing the whole rail. So you could mount it, but it makes it wedge-shaped, so the sight's going to come loose and want to jump forward. So i got to tell you what we're going to do, man. We're going to do some modding. Gonna do some modding right now. Gonna fix it right up. So what I did to accommodate the uh, oddness of the Smith and Wesson rails, I just removed a little material so that the rail will be able to bite where it can. Okay, so I think you can see what I had to do. I had to remove that little bit of material to make way for that that sweep. So there it is on there. you have a look down it. I think you can see there's a dot there. So I'll have to take some time, get it sighted in, I'll let you know how that goes. Thirty dollar red dot from eBay. So it's uh getting down towards twilight, so I thought this would be a good time to demonstrate the uh low light capability of the green red dot. It's red and green. It'll do a red one too. This is the brightest. Then it has four settings. And it's off. And then it's lowest setting right there. That's what that looks like. Let me slap a mag in.
let's do some shots down on the see if I can get the red dot through the camera here so I think the, the dot actually helps you get back on target faster because you can watch what your muzzle's doing. You can watch it jumping up and down. I'm going to use my eyes this time. Now I think you can see that the glass makes it a little darker, but it's not terrible. What I'll do is I'll zoom in so you can see if I'm hitting anything. Let me wind it in there a little bit. Go a little bit further here, shall we? Alright, let's see if I can get any in the orange. Now that I'm actually trying. Did I scare it? Look at that, I got some in the orange. Look at that, guys. How about that? So, this uh, $30 red dot sight here, it's got a little label on it that says A1 Optic, but uh, supposedly nitrogen filled, multi coated lenses, shock proof. Fits on the gun after I whittled it down a little bit. So, seems to be doing the job. Once I got it dialed in, I could pretty much make it hit what I wanted. So, there you have it.